Hi, I'm Glenn Gazer here for the We Foods Council, and I'd like to say a few words about metabolic flux and why it is important for your weight control. So, first of all, what is metabolic flux? Think about it in terms of calories in and calories out. So on a daily basis, we consume calories, we burn calories, and a lot of those come from exercise. So if you have a, a very high exercise level, you're likely to have a very high metabolic flux because you'll consume more calories to basically nourish your body and fuel your body for that exercise. On the other hand, people who don't exercise that much, who are very sedentary, have a low metabolic flux. Now the problem with having a low metabolic flux is that the body has a hard time figuring out how many calories to consume to match that calorie intake with expenditure. So people who have low metabolic fluxes because they're sedentary oftentimes have a very difficult time controlling their weight. People who exercise quite a bit have high metabolic flux. Their bodies seem to regulate their caloric intake uh, much more precisely. This is one of the reasons why individuals who have a high physical activity level tend to have better weight control year in and year out. So in uh, difficult times when it's hard to get out and exercise, it's particularly challenging to re, uh, basically maintain a high metabolic flux. One way can, we can do this is try to get in as much physical activity as we can. Now how much is optimal to maintain a good metabolic flux? Typically about 150 minutes a week at least of at least moderate intensity physical activity and maybe even up to about 250 to 300 minutes a week. So this may seem like a lot when you spread it out over the course of a week, but you think about it on a daily basis and really what it boils down to is just a nice 20 to 30 minute walk on uh, virtually most days of the week and you can maintain a metabolic flux sufficiently high enough to basically have good weight control.